Hi guys, welcome to a drop spot. In today's video, we are going to be interacting with ZK Fair. ZK Fair is a community driven ZK Layer 2 network. It is built on the Polygon ZK EPM technology. And some unique features about them that I find really exciting is that they are going to launch fairly, there's not going to be any VC funding, and then their tokens are going to be distributed 100%. To their community there is not going to be any form of private or pre-sale whatever so i'll just go straight to what their airdrop allocation is going to be like you can also check out the docs later i'll leave the link in the comment section so of their tokens they are going to distribute 800 million zkf tokens to people who have been active on polygon zk evm network in the past three months that is from october 20 to december 20. so if you participated in the just concluded uh, polygon zkvm quest on intract then you should also be eligible for this airdrop however don't lose heart if you do not participate in if you are not active on polygon zkvm they are also dedicating another 200 million zkf that is number two they are also dedicating that to people who are active on other zk rollup uh, technology like zk sync scroll linear zk space so if you have been active on zk sync scroll or even a uh, linear voyage that we have been doing then you are eligible for a drop number two and the reason that they are, are giving more allocation a bigger chunk of the allocation to polygon zk EVM is that they are actually built on the polygon zk EVM, uh, technology that is why that is having the bigger allocation so people who are loyalty point holders on Lumos are also going to receive um, 800 million ZKF tokens. Another 200 million ZKF tokens is allocated for code contributors of ZKF protocol. That should be for developers on GitHub. And then lastly, 500 million ZKF tokens are allocated to all ordinal token holders. This one will not, the claiming of this one won't be instant. So this is just how the allocation is going to be like. And then the amount that each individual will now receive depends on how active you have been on the networks that we mentioned earlier. If you want to learn more about ZKFA, I'm going to leave the link to their doc in the comment section so that you can read about it later. So let's head over to the testnet website. I'll paste the link in my search bar. And here we are. I'm going to connect my wallet. Choose MetaMask. And while connecting your wallet, it is going to ask you to approve um, adding a new chain, ZKFA testnet. So you have to approve that and also switch to ZKFA testnet. Uh, so here we are going to be interacting between two networks, Cipolia and ZK Fair Testnet. And to get started, I want to bridge some ETH from Cipolia to ZK Fair. So what we are doing is we are going to head over to cipoliaforset.com where I'm going to be claiming Cipolia ETH that I will use for this interaction. So paste your wallet address and then tap on send me ETH. And then you are going to receive 0.5 Cipolia ETH which you can only claim once a day. Next, we want to claim some test USDC on the ZKFA testnet. So to do that, you are going to have to join ZKFA on Discord and then you will head over to their claim test USDC channel where you are going to claim from Fawcett. So you are going to use a command and then you are going to add your wallet address. Simply type at ZKFA Fawcett. Once you type at ZK, the entire command will come up and then add your wallet address and then send. And the bot is going to send you 50 USDC for testing purposes. Now that my transaction is being processed, I will go back to ZKFA website. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to bridge some ETH from Cipolia to ZKFA. So I will tap on that drop down and then I will change it from USDC to ETH. And then I will enter the amount that I want to send. However, I observed that the gas fee is very high, 0.5 ETH for gas fee. And I do not have enough to cover for my sending and also gas fee. So what I'm going to do is I head over to Orbiter Finance on where, on Testnet and here I bridged other tokens. I have some balance on Gweli ETH and then I bridged that over to Zipolia. So you can also do this anytime you want to do a Testnet interaction and then you have very low balance on a token. You can come to Orbiter Finance Testnet and then bridge other Testnet tokens over to the token that you need. 
So I'm going to be bridging my Gwely ETH over to Sepolia and then I can continue with the testnet interaction. Switch to Gwely because that is where we are sending from and then tap on send. Confirm and send. Now that the uh, transaction is completed, I'm going back to ZK Fair and then I'll switch my network to Sepolia this time because I want to send from Sepolia. I'll tap on that drop down and then I'll choose ETH and then I'll enter the amount of ETH, Sepolia ETH, that I want to bridge over to ZK Fair. So I wanted to bridge over a chunk amount of Sepolia ETH so that if I want to bridge back from ZK Fair, I will have enough to cover up for the gas fee. So I am sending 0.65 Sepolia ETH over to ZK Fair testnet. Then I will tap on bridge. Confirm. So I just deposited to ZK Fair testnet. While the transaction is being processed on the blockchain, it will take about 30, 20 to 30 minutes for the transaction to be completed. So I am back after 30 minutes and then my ETH have been deposited successfully on ZK Fair. You can see my balance here. So I'll switch over to the withdraw tab and now I'm going to be performing a bridge uh, from ZK Fair testnet to Sepolia this time. And this time I want to bridge USDC, the one that we claimed on Discord earlier. So I'll be bridging USDC. I have 50 USDC in my balance and I think I'll be bridging 40 USDC to Sepolia. And then one other thing I find very fascinating in this is that your gas fee this time, since you are sending USDC, your gas fee will be in USDC. I actually thought it would be in ETH. That was why I wanted to bridge ETH to ZK Fetters. I wanted to bridge a large quantity earlier. But then the gas fee is going to be in USDC, which I find pretty interesting. So tap on confirm. But first, switch back to ZK Fetters Net because that is where we are sending from. Then tap on confirm. Uh, so this uh, transaction has been sent to the blockchain and it is going to take 24 hours for the for USDC to arrive on Sepolia. So that's it for the ZK Fair testnet. There is not much time left, so you want to make sure you do this testnet before it will be over. If you have any questions, drop me a comment in the comment section of this video. If you have found value in any of my content before, then give me a like on this video. That is how I can know. And also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on other important updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.